Hey YouTube, Cyan here, and it's that time where we go over the next upcoming banners, this time for version 2.3, and it's going to be some real serious damage to our reserves, but this is what we've been saving for, so hopefully everyone's prepared. Said no one because Robin already robbed you, and instead of giving to the poor, she gave to the rich. But enough of that, let's talk about our upcoming banners. Now I would like to have all of my E0 Acheron enjoyers please step to the side, feel free to listen, but we have to talk near the end. Everyone else, it's time to look at our upcoming first half banners for Firefly and Ron May. Let's first look at the 4 star value since you're going to be rolling a lot of these unless you sack pretty hard. Gallagher is actually a great partner for Firefly and I am not surprised they brought him back so quickly just for her. Will be her best 4 star healer without question should you not have Hua Hua. Sway, who I recently did a comparison video on versus Boo Hill, is a great DPS should you have the right team to support her, but her and Firefly can be technically ran together in a double DPS team should you be missing other core options. Misha is okay, but nowhere near as good as the previous two mentioned, so for 4 stars you have 2 insane options and 1 decent, great value on a banner. Let's talk about the 5 star, starting with Firefly. Should you? Yes. And why? Because you waited since 2.0 to make that picture a reality, and whatever I was going to tell you didn't really matter, this includes me. But for in-game reasons, being our second dedicated break character back to back could be a good investment for that playstyle as it may be needed in the future. Also her having built in super break allows her to not rely on the trailblazer harmony allowing for more team options. Now for Ron May, this is a hard one. If you don't have Robin, yes, I would say she is more than worth pulling for. She can fit in pretty much any double DPS team setup from damage over time to follow up attack and is SP positive which is always nice. The only issues I would say is if you do have Robin, it can be hard to run both if you already have one team let's say running Branya or Sparkle. This mainly applies to people who play the game on auto. Should you be a person who is going for 0 cycle clears, 1 cycle clears, or clearing as fast as possible, you definitely want to add her to your list, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, he isn't really needed and Robin will do you well. As for both characters like cones, neither are a must pull. I'll be doing a video on Firefly's light cones when she comes out, so keep that in mind. And Ron May, her light cone, I don't even have it personally. I just use the four star, so I don't really recommend it. It's hard for me to recommend something that I don't personally have. Starting off with Jade and Argenti. For the four stars, we have Sir Ball, who has fallen pretty far since her glory days in the beginning of the game. She is still a decent breaker of toughness bar, but not nearly as relevant because it's not nearly as needed or the much better options for the team. Natasha, who is by far the worst healer in the game. Um, I would even go as far as to say that they should probably rebalance Natasha because she's so far behind every other healer. It's almost no point of even touching this character and they keep giving her rate up. Nobody wants to use Natasha. And finally, we have Asta, who does make a good pairing with Jade and Firefly, but she's such an old unit. Unless you are a brand new player who probably started in 2.0, you already have her E6. So it's hard to recommend pulling for any of the four star characters on this banner. Starting off with the five star characters, we're going to start with Argenti, who I do not recommend. He does have value as he's good at cleaning up waves very quick with his ultimate back to back. However, I would recommend just use him as a friend character and don't waste your stellar jades. Secondly, he does have value in pure fiction, but there's much more accessible options who can perform nearly as good if not better. Looking at Himiko, Herda, uh, Black Swan, blah 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 blah. The list goes on. He's not really needed. Um, unfortunately, if you're a fan of his design, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Otherwise, I don't recommend it. Now for our main headline unit, for the second half we have Jade, who wants to be ran with either Branya or Sparkle, more so Sparkle as Sparkle gets the quantum boost and Sparkle is much more SP positive in case you want to run double DPS, while Jade herself is not really SP negative that much. She does want to be, uh, if you do run another DPS, 
you're gonna hit the SP negative where Sparkle this shines a little bit more. So when it comes to team building, you definitely might have to have other characters to make Jade really shine. So keep that in mind. Because of this, I would only put her in a personal like favorite character list or maybe a quantum enjoyer. Other than that, I don't think she is a must pull. While for both Lycone, Argenti, I do not recommend it. I don't recommend the character, so why would I recommend his Lycone? But Jade's Lycone is very strong. I would say if you don't have Jing Yuan's Lycone, this is a definite must pick up if you want to run Jade. There are other good free to play options and all, but this is definitely going to be a class above that. So keep that in mind. But if none of these characters are of interest to you, then we have to look at 2.4. I will like the Acheron E0 players to come forward. Now let's talk about the two characters that were promoted out. We have Young Lee, who is a physical destruction character. She was shown off in the live stream as a sword attacker. So she might be something similar to Clara, but more offensive maybe. And then we have Zhao Cho, who is a fire nihility character. Yes, we have another nihility option. It's why I need Akron players to pay attention. Um, he is a chef. Food. Food, what they do to you, they can make you better. They can heal you. It's a possibility. It's not off the table. So, Akron players, because you don't have a healer, and to run a free-to-play Akron team, it's very hard to run three nihilities because you either remove a support or you remove your healer. So this is important that you may want to consider pulling for this character as he may fill a healer role. Just keep that in mind. So this is why Akron players, you got to pay attention. Just think about it. Consider it. Other than that, we do have some possible rate ups for four stars. I would say Yukong and Ting Yun, it's likely to be rate up because we're going back to the Law Fu. So it's likely that they have not been rate up for a very, very long time. So if you're looking to get those characters, it might be possible. Um, Arlen might be another one. He hasn't been rate up for a very, very, very long time. And Gwyn Ifen. So if you're looking for any of those four characters, it's very likely that they may be rate up because it's been maybe like almost a year for some of them <laughs> that have their rate up. Otherwise, that pretty much encompasses everything for the banners. If you have any questions or anything you want to talk about, leave a comment down below. I would like to thank you for watching this video. I will catch you in my next video. Until then, I'll see you.